We all want our kids to get a good education, but declining test scores have worried many families. Dr. Aditya Nagrath is the founder of Elephant Learning and has a plan to help. Welcome. Hi, thank you for having me. Oh, I'm happy to have you here. So tell us about Elephant Learning. What is it exactly? Sure. It's an online math academy for children. We cover from counting through algebra, and on average, children in our system learn about a year and a half of math over the course of 10 weeks when they use it just 30 minutes per week. That is really amazing. Explain what you've been able to achieve with your clients and how your method differs from school systems. Sure. What we like to do is we like to focus on teaching mathematics as a language, and so we focus on understanding. So what we did was we took the activities that early age education researchers already determined were effective for teaching these ideas, mm -hmm. and we gamified it. So it feels like a puzzle game for children. Okay. And so even with that, I think you were, you were telling me before off camera that you have a way of making sure that the kids master one part of it before going on to the next. So what was, how, how do you do that? Sure. So those activities are combined with adaptive algorithms. Those adaptive algorithms always keep pace with the students. So think of it like a basketball hoop that goes up when the ball goes in mm -hmm. and goes down when the ball does not go in. And so like what we're always doing is we're always f uh, keeping the activities at the level of the student so yes. that they're always challenged and that their problem solving skills are being exercised. Got it. So before they're going on to the next thing, they make sure that they have that foundation. Absolutely. Got it. And let's talk about high school math and why it's so crucial for our kids to have a basic understanding of the subject. Absolutely. Yeah. So algebra, in our opinion, is the introduction to the language of mathematics. Okay. After that, what ends up happening is we end up having conversations in mathematics. Hmm. And so the conversations become like, let's have uh, conversations around geometry, shapes, and perimeters, and et cetera. Yes. Or cyclical functions, which is trigonometry. Mm -hmm. Now, the next time you see a new idea is calculus, where you see uh, the limit, derivatives, integrals. Mm -hmm. um, and the reason why these topics are so important is because they're the basis of STEM. So when these students go into college and they try to take into a STEM degree, they're going to need to understand those topics in order yeah. to excel. But more than that, um, if you're not proficient in high school mathematics, what that typically means is that there's a misconception that originated in algebra or earlier. Got it. And so many of the STEM students that go in, they switch to business because business used to be like, oh, I can go in there, I can make a lot of money. Mm -hmm. But now at the college level, mm -hmm. uh, the professors of business school are having troubles getting the ideas of statistics down to the students because Got business it. is now so, so statistically driven due to the digitization. Got it. So it's important to get this foundation now because, again, everything is building upon it as we, as we uh, excel in our, or go on with our education. What advice do you have for parents specifically when they're noticing that their kids are struggling in school already? Well, what I recommend is that you get them help, obviously, but yeah. like the help <laughs> that you get them has to match their level. So like, it doesn't matter where you take them, but as long as you can figure out like, what is their level of actual understanding? Like, where are they actually able to apply the ideas? Okay. So by understanding what we like to test is, can they use the idea to solve a problem? So for example, multiplication. Mm -hmm. Can you uh, use multiplication to solve a problem? Mm -hmm. Now, if you just memorize your multiplication tables, but you don't have the ability to use it to solve a problem, yes. the multiplication yep. feels useless to you. Right. And so that's why it's important to go back to their level of understanding and start building that up because when they see where do I use this to solve a problem, then they see the usefulness of math. That practical application. What about advice for the students themselves? Sure, you can do it. That's the, yeah. that's the advice I have. So math anxiety plagues maybe 50% of Americans. Mm -hmm. Almost half of first and second graders report math anxiety. And at the basis of the math anxiety is this belief that I can't do it. Mm -hmm. And so like they start to look for evidence that they can't do it. And so like what we want to say to students is you can do this. This is just a matter of time, effort, and trying to understand it. And so where can our viewers go to learn more about Elephant Learning? Yeah, if you go to elephantlearning.com, mm -hmm. um, you'll learn everything you need to know and you'll be well, able to sign up. That will work out. <laughs> yeah. So we can sign up right there then. That's right, you sign oh. up right on the website okay. and then after that you could download an app for your iOS, Android, or Amazon oh, Kindle Fire. wonderful. All right, kids will love that part too. All right, Dr. Negrath, thank you so much for being with us. We appreciate it. And we'll be right back with more Midday Maryland right after this. Stay tuned. <laughs>